Hi, I'm James Stuber. Today I want to talk about a fun little exercise you can do using Readwise and Roam Research. So Readwise is a service that collects highlights from things like Kindle books, articles you read online, um, and one of the nice tools that Readwise provides is a daily email. So this is that email that I get from Readwise every morning and it's it's a short collection of you know just a few highlights that you've made in the past. This is a cool way to resurface ideas that maybe you've, you know, you highlighted as important, but uh, maybe you haven't really thought about them. So I really like this, this little daily email. And to make this daily email even more useful, what I like to do is to take one or two of these and bring them into my Rome database. So let's start with uh, this quote from James Clear and his book, Atomic Habits. The quote is, when it comes to habits, the key takeaway is this. Dopamine is released not only when you experience pleasure, but also when you anticipate it. You know, that's an interesting idea, so I'll, I like to bring it into my daily notes uh, in Rome. So here's the quote, and I'll uh, tag that it's from James Clear. Now, in my Rome database, I like to keep mostly ideas that are in my own words. I don't want to fill up my Rome database with tons of quotes and literature notes that are from other people. Uh, this is a personal preference of mine. Uh, some people like to put everything in it and that's that's cool too. So what I like to do when I bring quotes in is to rewrite the idea in my own words. Um, one, this forces me to think about it a little more deeply. And two, this starts this really cool connection process that I'll show you. So. Uh, you know, how would I how would I take this idea and write it in my own words? Um, let's say the anticipation of an experience uh, can be just as good as the experience itself. Okay. So we have this idea and what Rome Research is really good at is connecting other ideas. So I'm gonna open this page and you can see there's already a link reference to the original quote that I pulled it from. My brain starts going about what are other things around anticipation and you know experience and like emotions. Um, and my mind immediately jumps to this book summary that Tiago Forte did. Um, and the book is called How Emotions Are Made. So I've got a partially progressively summarized note um, in Evernote on how emotions are made. And, you know, just skimming the bolded parts, this might be a good opportunity to go through and do another layer of progression summarization, but I won't do that now. Um, yeah, this is the thing that reminded me of uh, this idea we're talking about is, hey, uh, the brain is constantly making its best guess of what it thinks is about to occur and then preparing to act on that guess. And Tiago uses this, this example of, oh, like you're going to pick up your friend at the airport and you know, you're not an emotionless robot while you're driving to pick up your friend at the airport. Uh, you're already anticipating like, oh man, I'm so excited to see my friends. Um, you already start feeling happy before you see them, right? So it, that's just an example of how this anticipation can be part of the experience, right? So I'll connect this to the book, How Emotions Are Made. And I might write the, the main idea that connected this here, again, in my own words, um, let's say, uh, your brain is constantly predicting, I can't spell, what kind of emotional response it should be making. Okay. And, you know, just to, to clean some things up, I'll say, okay, like who is, how emotions made by, uh, it's not by Tiago, it's by Dr. Lisa Feldman Barrett. Um, so we'll bring her name in here. And, you know, there's a book summary by Tiago Forte. We'll connect him and we'll link to the actual summary, which is here. And uh, my own Evernote notes. Cool. Now, the point of this exercise is to get your brain going. Like, what else, uh, what else can I connect this with? Well, um, I remember an idea from a Tim Ferriss podcast I listened to like forever ago about how he likes to plan his, you know, his big trips like a year in advance or something. And it's not because uh, he wants to have predictability around his calendar and all this sort of thing. It's because the anticipation of a trip can be just as fun as the trip itself, right? Uh, if I'm planning 
if I'm planning a, a trip to another cool country like a year in advance, I get a whole year to look forward to it and to anticipate it and to think about the packing list and to make connections in that country and maybe meet some friends there. Um, so that that anticipation can be uh, a really cool thing. So, you know, I might write a new note about how like plan trips in advance or how about far in advance, far in advance to increase uh, positive emotions of anticipation, right? And I don't actually remember where this came from, but I'm pretty sure it was from Tim Ferriss, so I'll just put his name here as a connector thing. Um, let's see, yeah, podcast. What I like about this exercise is it starts to get you thinking about how to make connections between different ideas that might be unrelated or, you know, they're in your head already, but by making these connections explicit, you start to think better about uh, anticipation and emotions and uh, prediction and, uh, you know, how to plan trips or how to plan events, right? If I really wanted to, I could dive deeper and maybe start to organize this into an outline of some sort where, uh, you know, maybe I want to write about, you know, this idea of planning trips are in advance or something similar, right? But you don't have to turn everything that you do into some sort of online content, right? Uh, you know, at, at this point, I feel like this note is good enough. I've got some connections and maybe I'll stumble upon it in a future date where I have a better idea of what I want to turn this into. All right, so I've showed you a fun little exercise where you can take quotes from Readwise and put them into Realm Research and start using that to make connections and think a little better. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. See ya.